guys, we are here outside Stamford Bridge and I am joined by massive, massive Chelsea fan. Eddie, how you doing, man? Very good, man. How about you? Yeah, yeah, I'm very good, thank you. Now, I hear that you've got some quite strong opinions on Chelsea yeah. Football Club. So before I get into any particular questions, I just want you to give me your thoughts, man. Tell me what's going wrong with this club right now. Look, man, there's one problem. It's the manager, isn't it? It's, it's Borussia Pochettino. He's got to go. I mean, the results are shocking. We need to be cutthroat like the Abramovich era. I think Pochettino's got to go. We can't, we can't have Pochettino. Uh, and we need to bring back the old guns. I'm talking Mar um, Jose Mourinho, Thomas Tuchel, anything, anything we can salvage, we need to bring them back because they knew how to get us back to winning ways. And, and now it's just win, win, draw, loss, 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 draw, win, win. I mean, it's terrible. All these results are terrible. I cannot stand it anymore. Okay, all right, I hear that, right? Pochettino might not be the guy. But let me ask you this. Do you trust the owner? Do you trust Todd Bowley to, if he were to get rid of Maurizio Pochettino, to bring in the right man? Because he seems to, with, when it comes to transfers or like, the, there's no strategy with this guy. What do you reckon? Yeah, yeah, I hear you, right? So I think Bowley, he, he's a very, like, um, he's a very energetic owner. He wants to spend all the money he can. He wants to, he, he clearly has good intentions for the club. However, like, He's no Roman Abramovich. He doesn't know the football system yet. And I think we need to sack Pochettino, but we need to do it at the right time. I'm saying maybe we, we give Pochettino till the end of the season so that we can find a new replacement for him. But I, I really, I'm not optimistic about Bowie's recruitment because he, he, he's just gone in bad manager on bad manager on bad manager. I cannot stand it. It's terrible. I mean, Bowley just really doesn't know how to appoint a manager. I, I think if we, if we give Pochettino... Um, if we cut Pochettino until the end of the year and then we and then we have all of this time to find a new replacement for him, then that might be our best bet. Okay, so as a, as a passionate Chelsea fan yourself, who, who are you looking at then, potentially, to come in and replace Pochettino? I mean, Jose Mourinho is, is a top, top. You take Mourinho back? Yeah, 100%. Oh, my Lord. I never thought I'd hear that today. Go on, explain, Look, explain. Explain. Mourinho, fantastic manager. One of the Premier League. We conceded, what, like 14 goals in a season? I mean, that was nearly 20 years ago, though. It doesn't matter. It's Mourinho, legend. I mean, think about it now. We're terrible. We have, we have absolute, absolute terrible defenders. We, our defending is shocking. We have a granddad playing centre-back, Thiago Silva. I mean, and we're still conceding goals on goals on goals. Like, we need a proper manager that can educate this team. Um, really, like, like Thiago Silva mentoring the players. Mourinho can mentor, mentor the guys at Chelsea right now. So he goes back to winning ways. I mean, this is what we need. We need someone like Mourinho. We need an old, experienced manager. That's what I think. However, I think if, if you know you go for experience, or not experience, but if you want a more like exciting way of playing, right? I mean, obviously, we've already made one mistake with, with Brighton. And, and, and obviously, I think... What, Graham Potter, you mean? Yeah, yeah. So I don't think De is a good option. But I think if Real Madrid do get De which I've heard about, then I think Carl, I would take Carlo Ancelotti back as well. I think he's a top, top manager. And that, that would be really good for us. I, I knew this day would come one day, you know, where it's like you've literally, you've cycled through every single manager yeah, on the planet yeah. and now you're just doing no the rounds options. again. No more options, yeah. <laughs> um, okay, all right. So um, you, make a, you make a good argument, you know. But one thing I do want to ask you is obviously you've, you've kind of gone in on Poch a, a lot there. Yeah. If you had the choice today to either sack Maurizio Pochettino or get rid of the entire starting 11 what would be your preferred choice sack Pochettino and and get rid of the whole starting 11 get rid of all of them yeah just start again from scratch yeah just get the get, just get a new team get a new manager to be honest I mean everyone does not deserve to play for the badge I mean I'm thinking about 2016 2017 when we won that Premier League title we had proper Chelsea players Brennislav Ivanovic Willian Hazard all of these guys Diego Costa we don't have Diego Costa we have Nicholas Jackson who's Nicholas Jackson he's this farmer from Villarreal from the who played half a season in La Liga I mean this guy's not Premier League worthy. He's, he's, we played Spurs, right? He has three goals. Imagine have six. Like, what is he thinking? Like, I, I, I don't know how he misses so many chances. I mean, the thing with Jackson, right? He has good intentions. He knows what he wants to do. But his end product is one of the worst in the league by far. So with this, I, I, I kind of, I may know the answer to this. With the squad that you currently have, do you think Chelsea are going to finish in the top half of the table yes, this season? Yes, I'm oh, very you do? confident. Very confident. You look at the results against the big six teams, we've been great. I think we, t we drew Man City one of the games of the season, 4-4. Absolutely top result. We beat Spurs away. I know they had their red cards. I mean, it was still a great result. We drew Arsenal. I know we lost United, but I mean, Jesus, it was a crisis time with Pochettino. 
but I back ourselves. Second half of the season, I think today is a big game because these two games like Fulham are the must-win games this season. And I think that if we beat Fulham today, we, we really can revive our season. I mean, our form recently, that win against Palace, that win against Luton, you know, let's think about league form, not that crap game against Middlesbrough. And, and that's how we're going to get back in this season. I think we really, I only found out that, you know, fifth place gets you Champions League football this season. So I back ourselves to, to, to get us, we can contend for the Champions League this year. I, I, I do believe so. Six I'm, points off United. We're only six points off United. I'm, that's a good point. I'm not 100% sure if fifth place is... I, I don't know if that's guaranteed at the moment. I think it's something to do with the European coefficients. But yeah, it's a yeah. possibility. It's definitely something to aim for. It's only if, it's only if uh, the team in the Europa League um, is doesn't qualify for the Champions League but wins the Europa League. Mm. But realistically, if Liverpool win the Europa League and they're already past top four, they're going to be in the top four already. Fifth place will be Champions League. OK, Eddie, just to wrap it up then, um, big game today, as you said, what are your score predictions for the game? Score predictions? Honestly, I back us today. Uh, I think we've got to watch out for Paulinha. Um, I think defensively, Fulham, you know, they, they have problems with their centre halves. I, I was watching that game against Liverpool, Issa Diop and uh, Aaron Abayo. You know, they, they can make mistakes. So I would back ourselves today 2-0 to Chelsea. 2-0 to Chelsea. All right, who's going to get the goals? I mean, I have to see the line up right, but... It's, it's very hard. I mean, at the moment, we could have Enzo Fernandez scoring or we could have, like, Armando Broya scoring. I mean, our, it, it, you never know who's going to score a goal. Um, but I honestly back Cole Palmer in it. It's Cold Palmer in it. Aha, mm -hmm. uh -huh, yeah. So he's, he's brilliant. Love Cole Palmer. Um, so I, I think he'll score a penalty maybe or open play goal. And um, I think... Um, Mudrik off the bench because I'm a Mudrik enthusiast. Oh, Mudrik enthusiast. Eddie, thank you so much, man.